Good evening, I'm Alan Sinclair. Every five minutes, someone somewhere in the UK is rushed to hospital because they're having a heart attack. Often it strikes out of the blue. The impact on them and their families can be profound. A group in Dorset which offers support to those who've been through that ordeal are now raising money with the aim of helping more people for free. Someone closely involved in that campaign is a former colleague here who you will no doubt recognise. Roger Finn has returned for this special report on why the cause means so much to him. This is where I had my heart attack soon after I'd left BBC South. And the funny thing is, it was nothing like my image of a heart attack. There was no sudden pain, no clutching at the heart, no keeling over, nothing dramatic at all. I was on a hike here in the New Forest with some of my children, and I just felt rotten, a horrible feeling like indigestion. Each step was becoming an effort. I finished the walk and drove home, but that rotten feeling did not go away, and I, I began to feel a, a slight tension across the chest. My wife ordered me to phone 111. The paramedics arrived very quickly. They told me I was having a heart attack and rushed me to the Royal Bournemouth Hospital. Within an hour or so, I'd had two stents inserted to unblock my arteries, and after just a couple of days here, I was sent home. Sixty years ago, most heart attacks were fatal. These days, seven out of ten people survive. For me, it was a powerful reminder to look after my body. And that's where the Bournemouth Heart Club here came in. We all fit and well, feeling, feeling good today? Right, we'd better get warmed up then. The instructors are all cardiovascular specialists. They lead several sessions a day designed to help survivors back to fitness safely. If I was to describe to you uh, the heart, uh, exercise, cardiovascular exercise as a pill, it would be the most effective and efficient pill you possibly could take. Uh, it would affect your, your cholesterol levels, your blood pressure, uh, obviously reducing obesity and just essentially having less strain on the heart. It's not just for heart attack survivors. The club also helps people who have had strokes, diabetes and long COVID. What, what does the club mean to you, then? Um, it means exercise and friendship, basically, and a safe place to exercise. I've been coming here for about eight years. So, apart from just the exercise, it's a community. Joining the club certainly made me a lot fitter, tone the muscles up, strengthened the joints. Yeah, I all round feel a lot better. It costs five pounds a session, so regular attendance can be a stretch for many. That's why today the club held a 10-hour exercise bike marathon to fund places for people on low income. One of the cyclists, the former football manager, Graham Souness, he had open-heart surgery 30 years ago. It's not changed my life. I'm an operation. I'm still doing everything I wanted to do, everything I used to do. Um, still enjoy a glass of wine. And I still exercise most days, so I, I've, I've been one of the lucky ones. But I think the message, the message is even if you're, if you're fit or you think you're fit and you feel good, um, you get to a certain age and if there's a family history, you should get yourself checked out. Well, I am really pleased to say that Roger Finn is here in the studio now. Obvious first question, how are you? I'm fine, Alan. Um, I think they must have done a very good job at Bournemouth um, because the, that stent is working perfectly. I've had no twinges, no nothing. I'm being careful, but I seem to be fine. You talked in the film there about being shocked yourself that this had happened to you. We were all shocked because we've always regarded you as somebody really fit, outdoorsy. <sighs> when I was in, in the ward recovering with four other people who'd all been through heart attacks, we all talked to each other and we said, for all of us, it had just come out of the blue. Nothing to suggest it was about to happen. So, yeah, it was a real shock. Has this changed you? Has this changed your attitude to anything in life? My phone's going 
I, I guess I do feel more vulnerable now, and I am a lot oh, more really? careful about what I eat. I, I, my diet wasn't good before, and as someone once said, you're only one biscuit away from disaster when you've got a heart like mine. Um, but I, I'm exercising more. I'm not fanatic about it, but I go walking in the, in the new forest, I go cycling, I go swimming, and I, I just really try to keep fit. And the, the Bournemouth Heart Club has really helped with that. Well, we saw the good work that they are doing in your film there. Excuse the pun, but your heart is in this, isn't it, supporting them? They are doing a fantastic job. And someone told me, who'd also been through a heart attack, that that's one of the silver linings of having a heart attack, if there is one, is, is the comradeship that you get from mixing with all these people who've been through a, a similar experience. And, yes, it's getting you fit at the same time. Just very briefly, can we tempt you back for more? Tempt you out of retirement? Lovely offer, but I think I'll just wander in the new forest instead, Alan. Roger, it is great to see you looking so well. Thank you. Thank you.